We have both third grades, both second grades. First, do we have everybody in here now? All right, we're going to open with a word of prayer, and I need, I think it's Karan who's going to lead us in an opening prayer before we start our songs. Actually, I was hoping the baseball buddies, are they coming? I wanted to use them for our first song, get a little help down here. Hmm. I know. I know, but it's super cool to see those big guy, those big jocks come down here and do some moves with us. Okay. Here they come. Here's one. <laughs> Let's wait just a minute longer. See if we can get them in here before we start prayer and get going. Here comes some more. So here they come. Good job. All right. All right, here come the little three. Here comes some more. All right, I need everybody to sit. Oh, wait, we got a few more buddies coming in. Come on, guys, here they come. Hustle up. Put some hustle in there, guys. You know where you go? Okay, now, y'all bow your head, please, and we'll have Karam lead us in opening prayer. God, thank you for this day, and I pray that we do good in our studies and nobody gets sick or hurt, and I pray that we have good today. In your name, we, we pray, amen. Eli, come on up. Remember, all these verses that everybody reads are up here for you to read along with. Okay, y'all can cheer one more time. Cheer for the buddies. Okay, our first song is called Pray About Everything. And that comes from the Bible. The Bible says to pray about everything. So listen as Eli and follow along as Eli reads the verses. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request be known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. Okay. So our first song is Pray About Everything. And I think, don't y'all think that it would be nice if our baseball buddies would come down and do some moves down here in the front? Give them some big cheer. Come on, baseball buddies. We need some help doing some moves down here. Come on. We gave y'all a cheer coming in. Come on. The moves are going to be right up on the screen, so y'all can spread. Just be careful of the water right here. I don't want. Thank you. 
Paxton, whoop, I'm sorry, Paxton, come on up. All right, you're worthy of my praise, more than worthy. We can't praise the Lord enough. He's so awesome. Y'all listen. I will praise you, my Lord, my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Bless thee, Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Praise thee, Lord, my soul. Forget not all his benefits. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. It talks a lot about singing to God and praising him with song. So if you don't think you're musical, um, in fact, there is a verse in the Bible that actually sounds like God sings. I can't remember what it is, but I'll find it and I'll share it with you. So y'all stand up. Let's sing some praise to the Lord.
Okay, and our, our last song, before we have our last song, and our last song, um, we have a special soloist who's going to help us lead the first part of it, and then on the second half, we're going to join her and sing along with her. It's uh, Madison is going to come in just a minute, and b before she comes, Alex is going to come and read our verses that go with our song, and our song is, You Are My King. Come on up, Alex. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. In this, the love of God is manifested toward us that God has sent his, his only son, begotten son, into the world that we might live through him. And this is love that, that we not, that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be in the propitiation of our sins. Beloved in God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. All right, that was a hard one. He did a great job. All right, Madison, come on up. I will help you get started when it's your turn to help sing, okay? So y'all just be good audience and enjoy Madison as she starts to sing, You Are My King.
Great job, Madison. Thank you so much, and thanks for being a great audience. Now we have Pastor Jared here with us today. He is the children's pastor at First Assembly in Covington? Covington Assembly. All right, got it right. And so we all please give him a warm welcome, round of applause. All right. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, like she said, my name is Pastor Jared. Well, my name's not Pastor Jared, but you can call me Pastor Jared. And I'm really excited to be here uh, with you guys this morning. I had a blast worshiping with you guys, jump around doing actions. I, I love action songs. They're just, they're just a lot of fun. Um, but uh, before I get started, I want to know who I, uh, who I have in the room. Um, she said I have the elementary kids, but I see some really little ones. I see some big ones. It looks like I got some middle schoolers and high schoolers. Um, so if, if I say you're great, I want to I wanna hear if you're here. Okay, so like if I say like, third grade, like, I'm here. Okay, you, you guys do that in school, right? You're like here. So is there pre-K? Do we have pre-K in the room? Are, there, are you pre, pre-kindergarten? Can you guys wave at me and say, I'm here? Oh, come on. You got to say, I'm here. Come on, say a little louder. All right, well, good to meet you. Hi, you guys. All right, do we have any fourth graders that are here? Fourth grade, what up, y'all? What up, fourth grade? Hey, um, hey, uh, is there a second grade? Where's my second graders? Well, we got a lot of second graders. What's up, y'all? Hi, you're here. Cool. Um, Pre-K, kindergarten. Are there any kindergartners? Oh, cool. Kindergarten, front and center. All right. Is that so you guys pay really good attention? They keep you close to the speakers? You, you're, no, okay, I'm kidding. Um, Pre-K, uh, did I say first grade yet? What's up, first grade? Hey. Uh, oh, wait, way in the back. What's up, y'all? Uh, I did third grade, right? Uh, and then fifth grade. I didn't do third grade? Oh, that's okay. Well, what's up, third grade? And then fifth grade, I'm guessing, is over here. All right, cool. What's up, y'all? You're, okay, fifth grade, cool. And then we don't have sixth grade, right? That's middle school. Okay, and then we got our high school, our, our uh, baseball buddies. What's up, y'all? It's good to have you here. Y'all, if, if a kid's talking, just tap them on the shoulder. Shh, you're supposed to, be, supposed to be listening to Pastor Jared. All right, so y'all, um, today I'm going to be talking to you uh, about our words. You know, and I'm, I'm saying words. You guys shouldn't be saying words. Thank you. Very, okay, cool. And y'all, I brought, I, I was going to say a friend of mine, but he's, it's not, a, it's just a vase, y'all, but it's a special vase. All right, and this, this vase, this, this jar, this thing is going to help me show you guys how words affect others. Okay, is that cool? Can I, can I use that to show y'all? You, trust me, you're going to want to see it, all right? But, but first, I, I have a verse that I want to share with you guys, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the verse from my phone. Is that okay? Okay, cool. It just, it works better for me, so I don't have my big Bible, but, okay, so the verse, I actually have two, but this is the first one I'm going to read. This verse is found in Proverbs, all right, the book of Proverbs, and it says, the tongue has power of life and death. Did y'all know that? Your tongue, the thing you, like, taste food with, you, you might stick out at your brother and head, hey, brother, head, you know, don't do that, you know, <laughs> that might be, like, the power of death, um, Y'all, it says your tongue has the power of life and death. You know, when I, when I think of death, I think of maybe like a sword or, or poison or a, something bad that could hurt you. A gun, maybe, if, it, if it's handled wrong. Something bad, right? I mean, the power of death, that's, that's bad, right? That's like a, a supervillain or something. But y'all, you think of uh, the power of life in your tongue. That's, that's pretty cool, right? Your tongue can give life. And you know, I, I, I like playing video games. How many of y'all like playing video games? All right, I definitely all my boys were right there like, yeah, a couple girls, cool. Well, y'all, like the power of life, you think of like a power up or an extra life, like an extra heart or something. Girls, I was, I was talking to my wife, uh, her name is Miss Julie. I was talking to my wife and I was saying the power of life and she's, well, she's like, well, the girls are going to think of babies. And I just had my first baby a couple weeks ago, so I'm, I'm used to the, the babies. They're so cute and you just want to hold them, right, girls? You just want to like, you just want to cuddle them. And then they go, and you got to change your diaper. That's not cool. All right. <laughs> That's what they're like. They're like, oh, you're so cute. You know, baby. I'm like, ah, oh, man. It's not good, right? You all know what that is. It's not good. That's, that's the power of death right there. All right, so y'all, I, I need some help. Um, how many of y'all like helping with stuff? You like helping around the house? You like helping at, at school? Okay, cool. The problem is I only need a couple people. I got to have y'all sit down. I don't want you to fall, okay? You got to be careful. But I'm, I'm going to get, I need a couple different grades. I need a, a first grader. I need uh, a third grader. And I, I think I need a fifth grader. So can I have a baseball buddy by my first graders? Where's a baseball buddy by my first graders? Can you pick me out a first grader? My man in the back, can you, in the red, can you pick me out a first grader? Yeah, you that turned around. Are you a baseball buddy or are you a teacher? Okay, can you pick me out? Can you pick me out one first grade girl? All right, so look at all the first graders and pick me out a girl. Have her come down if you would, okay, bud? First graders, raise your hand. All right, where are my third graders? I forgot where my third third graders in the back. Perfect. Um, oh, see, he's my other baseball. He's like the closest baseball buddy to the third graders too. 
Um, how about I pick a third grader? I, or, who's, are you a baseball buddy in the way back in the middle? Oh, uh, I'm picking on you. I need a boy, a third grade boy, okay? So I need a first grade girl, a third grade boy, and I need a fifth grade girl. So do I have a baseball buddy? That's you, man. I need a fifth grade girl, a girl that looks like she can handle her, handle her weight, all right? She's got she to be strong, okay? So I, I need a okay, kick. Send, send her on down. All right, come on down. My, where's my first grader? Hey, here you go. I need you to hold this, okay? It's going to get really heavy. Can, you got big muscles? Can you show me your muscles? That's good. Okay, perfect. All right, where's my third grader? You're not my third grader. You're my fifth grader, right? Okay, I still need, I need to hold the cup. All right, third grader, right? All right, and I was thinking I probably should get another first grade, another first grade girl. Do you have a friend? Do you have like a best friend? Do, can, can you say her name in the mic for me? Was that scary? Can you do it for me? All right, say her name. Lilix. Lilix? All right, Lilix, if you're her best friend or one of her good friends, can you come down? I don't know. Okay, there she is. Come on down. Come on down. Uh, uh, you got to have big muscles, and I saw you had big muscles, but you might need some help, okay? I'm just making sure because we don't – I got some water, and I don't want to, like, flood everybody out like Noah's Ark or something. So, you know, yeah, okay. So I need you guys to take some paper towels for me. All right, can you, can you help me and give everybody, like, four or five paper towels? Can you do that? Can you take the whole roll? Because I, I only have like one hand, so if you could do that, that's awesome. Thank you. You're doing a great job. And what's your I didn't get your name. What's your name? Brooke. Brooke, good to meet you. What's your name, buddy? Trace. Are you sure? Trace? All right. And what's your name? Peyton. Peyton and Lily X, right? Something close to that? Lilix. Okay, Lilix. I was, I was like, I knew it was close. All right, sorry, Lilix. Thank you. All right, so you guys, get your paper towels, and y'all, we are going to, I'm going to fill y'all up from my my. My, not my friend, it's not my friend. Why do I keep wanting to say that? Yeah, I've got my vase here with water in it, all right? And we are going to use the water to represent your words, all right? Did you all get paper towel? You're good? All right, everybody's got Cool, because we might make a mess. Y'all don't mind getting a little wet, right? Just a little bit. You're not going to, like, take a shower. You're good? You're good? Okay, cool. All right, so let me have you guys line up kind of like this. You, you're perfect right there, third grader, first grader's over here. Yep, come over here. Perfect. Y'all face the audience. They want to see you. Okay, so you guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys... Uh, Trace, you can't wave the, the cup around. You're going to get wet. All right, so y'all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this vase here in a second, and I'm going to start speaking words of encouragement, Speaking because I don't want to speak death to y'all. That's not nice. I'm going to speak words of life to y'all, and we're going to see what happens as the Spirit, as the Spirit continues to give me uh, words of, of, and, uh, of nice things, of nice things to say. We're going to keep pouring into y'all and see what happens from, from my base. Y'all think I can fill all y'all up with, with my spe You think so? Really? From this? Look at how much water is in there. You think I can fill all three y'all up? Okay, you're a believer. Do you think so? you all crazy. Okay, um, so I, I, I want you all to also imagine, now you're my fifth grader, but I'm going to imagine that your cup represents your parents, your grandparents, maybe your teachers. Okay, so we're going to say nice things to your teachers. Your teachers like that. All right, your teachers, your parents, your grandparents. You, my friend, you're going to represent, your cup is going to represent your classmates. All right, so we're going to try to think of some nice things we can say to your fellow classmates, all right, your third graders. And then my first graders. Now, i got to ask you all, do, you, do, you, do one of you all want to hold the cup, or do you want to both, like, help each other hold the cup? What, what do you think will be easier? How about, how about we have you hold the cup, and I'm going to give her both paper towels, all right? So you put two hands on that cup, and then you're going to, if there's any mess, all right, you clean it up, all right, y'all? If you get wet, don't drop your cup, because then we'll get really wet. All right, so i got to put the mic down to, to pour this, so I'm going to just yell really loud, but y'all got to re listen really good, okay, because you want to see what's going to happen. So we're going to start filling up y'all's cup with my water, and we're going to see if I can fill all you. I'm, I'm pretty sure... If, if I'm, you know, using my tongue to give life, if I'm using it to encourage, to build you guys up, I think I can fill y'all up and overflow y'all. You want to see? All right, I got to put, y'all, I got to put my mic down, so you got to listen good. Okay, here we go. All right, so I got my, I got my vase, my, my special vase here. All right, so let's take, uh, let's take our parents or our teachers. What's something that, y'all, raise your hand, you got to be quiet, but we raise your hand. What's something nice you can say to our teacher? Our teachers, yeah. What's something nice you can say to a teacher? Yeah, you right on the end in the red shirt, third row. What's something nice you can say to your teacher? You raise your hand. Are you getting, are you shy? What's something you can say? What's that? Manners. Okay, so you can say, teacher, you got some nice manners. Okay, you got to hold your cup still or I'll spill all over you, all right? You good? This one's like, keep going, do it. All right, here we go. Woo! Okay, so we said, teacher, you have really nice manners. All right, so the teacher really liked that. We filled up her cup, cup like halfway. All right. What's something, y'all, you could say uh, something nice to your classmates? So somebody that's in your grade, in your class. Let's go way back in the way. You got to yell really loud. What's something you could say to your classmates? All right, cool. You've been a really good friend. So that's something really nice. Okay, that would make somebody feel really good, right? Does that make you feel good, Trace? I mean, I know you might. she's not your friend, but if, she, if your friend says it, okay. Okay, cool. So let me let me put some, some uh, water in you. Here we go. 
All right, there we go. Oh, okay. So, oh. All right, thanks, bud. All right, let's see. What, what's something nice? Did I say what you all, did I say what your cup is? Did I say, yeah? Did I forget? I forgot. How about an underclassman? So somebody that's a grade below you, or maybe two grades or three. What's something nice you can say to a little kid? Now, I, I, I don't know if the pre kers have any, anybody that's younger than them, but what's something you can say nice to someone that's younger than you? Like, to, to make them feel good. You got something? You were in your hand. No? What's that? Let's see if there's any water left. I, I think there's going to... Is there some water left? Uh, all right. What's something nice you can say to our parents? Real quick. Uh, you, little man in the red. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right. So let's let's say something nice to our parents. Wait. This isn't good. I'm not supposed to run out of water. Y'all, let me let me read a verse for y'all. One, one, y'all keep... Are your cups okay? You got it? You're strong? You're good? All right. I got it. one more verse I want to read for you guys. It's in Ephesians chapter 4. It says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. So, so things that are mean, things that aren't nice, things that, things that we shouldn't say, all right? But it says only, it says, well, it says, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. So we want to say, keep listening, we want to say things that are nice to people. We want to say things that build people up. Well, if I say, see, the, the, the flip side of that is if you let death come out of your mouth, I, if I say something mean to Trace, Trace, guess what happens? I take all all that nice stuff I said to you, and it, it just all goes away. Not, yeah, death. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, he's a drug.
front of everybody. All right, just don't flip, don't flip. All right, so boys and girls, if y'all see if if we keep listen, if we keep saying nice things to people, if we keep building people up, the Holy Spirit's gonna keep giving us things to say to them. And it's gonna keep you're gonna keep speaking into us and like, oh, they, they had really nice hair today. I want I want to say that to them because I think it'll make me feel good. Or oh, they did really good in that game or during gym class. So I, I want to say, Trace, you did really good at dodgeball. You're you're the man at dodgeball. Or you're knocking people out. Well, go knock it. Well, 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 okay. Yeah, all right, so let me let me put some let me put some good stuff in you. You think we'll fill you up? Alright, well let's see. Uh oh. Alright, Trace, I, I think we need to listen. Trace, I think we need to think of something else to tell you that you're really good at so we can fill up your cup. So you can fill up others. Um let me think. Uh, what's up? Besides dodgeball. Baseball, you you like baseball? All right, so like the baseball buddies that were here a minute ago. All right, let's see if, if Trace, you are awesome at bit. You are like the home run hitter, pitcher, base stealer, awesome man. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see if we can fill you up. You ready? All right. Thank you, my man, Trey. I'll clean it up here in a minute, Trace. You can leave it. Go take a seat, buddy. All right. Boys and girls. Yeah, good job, Trace. All right. Boys and girls, we need to, and I know you guys probably hear this from your teachers. Y'all got awesome teachers here, your parents. But boys and girls, we need to be careful with the things. I'm almost done. Listen. I, I know I've said that like three times, but I really am almost done. Boys and girls, we need to be really careful with the things we say with our mouths, the things we do with our actions, because there's life and death in our words and our actions. We want to build people up. We want to point people to Jesus because we can do that with our actions. If we're being mean, if we're hurting people with our actions and words, we're, we're not showing them Jesus. We're, we're not being nice to them. All right, so let's do that, you guys. I'm going to pray here in just a second. But let's be, let's, uh, can you all uh, make a deal with me today? Can you guys make it your goal to say, let's do, let's do three things today and then maybe even tomorrow. But especially today, can you guys do a favor for me and say three nice things to either your classmates, your teachers, or your parents, okay? Can you all do that for me? Say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, good job. Boys and girls, let's have the best, listen, let's have the best day here, the nicest day here you guys have had in a long time because you guys are all being nice to each other. All right, boys and girls, can we, can we pray? Is that a, can I pray with you? All right, let's fold our hands and close our eyes so we don't get distracted. Lord God, I thank you for today. God, I thank you for, for your awesomeness, for water, for cups, for cool things like that. But God, I also thank you that you tell us in your Bible, in your word, that uh, our tongues have the power of life and death. And that because of that, we should watch what we say and watch what we do so that we build people up and point people to you instead of being mean to people and hurting people. So God, help us, help each and every one of these boys and girls to find three people today, whether it's their teacher, their parents, or grandparents, and say something nice to them and build them up. Just like they want to have a good day, God, I hope that they'd make three people's day today. Lord, in your holy name, Jesus, can everybody say amen? amen. All right, good job. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Jared. Y'all give him a big round of applause. Just say thank you. All right, we're going to have Sam come and lead us in a quick um, goodbye prayer, and then we'll be dismissed. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and thank you for all that you've done for us, and thank you for the teachers in this school where we can come and worship you. Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, thank you very much. Have a good rest of the afternoon. Thank you very much.